Hey everyone, it's Brandon here with Roadrunner Sports and we just had a great opportunity to talk to some of our greatest stories yet from athletes helping athletes. They received their very first hand cycles from us when they were very young and now they're off competing in the Paralympics in Tokyo. You can watch them compete starting tomorrow to try and win a medal for Team USA. We're going to pass it off to them and you can hear what they have to say all about their experience. When I got the hand cycle, that was the first time I had um, ever done like mileage, like just going and pushing for um, as long as I could. And I think that that was a great um, like first step into track because, <laughs> you know, you push a lot when you're a wheelchair track athlete. And I think that that was a really good um, like introduction to the sport, even though it was a different sport. When I was a kid, I have kind of always wanted to become a doctor um, and that's what I'm studying to do now. And then once I started swimming, I knew I wanted to go to the Paralympics someday and like represent the USA. Been in uh, wheelchair racing since I was four years old. And uh, I went to my first games when I was, or in 2016. Um, and uh, so this time I will actually be doing everything. Uh, so the 100 through the 5,000 on the track. Uh, so five events on the track, and then I'll also be doing the marathon. Competing at the Paralympics, it's ever since I was a kid starting starting competing I've, I've always wanted to compete at the games and uh, and uh, be with the best of the best and and, and, and surpass my, my own uh, my own uh, accomplishments so so it means a lot to me to to, to compete at the game I'm so happy that I can I can give a voice to disabled athletes um, especially younger athletes I think that like I said, when I first started wheelchair track, I didn't have a team, a wheelchair track team that I could lean on. And I hope that I can inspire a younger athlete and maybe give them some advice, somebody to lean on um, during the process of, of learning. Um, and we were sent home last spring. And so that's when everything started getting shut down. So pools were getting shut down and I just had to find any way to keep staying in shape. That was the hardest part was there, everything like I couldn't swim and so I was able to use my hand cycle and stay in shape and that was super super important I think to my overall success not only just allowing me to stay in shape but it allowed me to focus on other things like and train in a different way that I hadn't before and so last summer yeah I pretty much used my hand cycle all the time and that really helped me overcome that challenge of not being able to get in a pool just because of all the shutdowns everywhere. So this one, it was a little bit challenging because of COVID uh, and everything shut down. Uh, so it was kind of hard to find ways to uh, work out effectively. Uh, like I couldn't go to the gym for a while uh, and I didn't have much gym equipment. I have like a couple of pound weights that I can use. So that was tough to do. Uh, the track, the track I couldn't really go to for a while because that was closed, but I had a roller inside my house so I could still do some chair workouts, stuff like that. Um, w while it's, I guess, there are kind of two, uh, two things I guess I'll kind of touch on is, you know, first of all, while it is an individual sport, uh, it, it really is a, it's a team effort, um, you know, with family, friends, teammates, coaches, um, and you know, just there, there's a lot of support behind uh, each athlete. Um, but also, yeah, I mean, even though, uh, you know, we're technically competing against each other and uh, things like that, you know, I'll always be willing to help people with, you know, if they have equipment problems or anything like that. Um, you know, we're, we're all willing to, to help each other uh, to make sure that everyone, you know, gets to the start line. I think that when you're in a, um, a wheelchair, or I mean a hand cycle, you definitely feel that like pain that comes with endurance sports. And that's something that I definitely feel in a wheelchair racer, but I first felt it in the hand cycle and you kind of have to like adjust your mind um, to, 
that like pain isn't a bad thing. It like helps you um, improve and you're gonna be better tomorrow for it. And I think that like being in the hand cycle and just kind of getting used to that endurance pain was really good for me. Go out there and reach for the stars and reach for your dreams because no dream is too small, no goal is too small. So anything is possible if you put your mind to it.